Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow to Pikachu Solo Run with me, Rock Paper Mario. And remember I was talking about like that Pokemon um Pokemon Generations and Pokemon Origins anime in the last part. Well there's actually a part in the Pokemon Generations um show where they show him like going to the Sylph Go, like he goes to the Sylph Go and squares off against faces off against Giovanni and everything. And like they have this music, that's the other really cool thing about it, and about like Pokemon, um, like about Generations and Origins, is that they have the actual music from the video games in the, um, they have the actual music from the video games in the cartoons, so they have like the Silvco music, or Rocket's Hideout music or whatever. Sorry, I like had breakfast just a little while ago and it's repeating on me, if you understand what I mean. Um, this way? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh no, this is right. Okay, yeah, and then I go down here. There should be some item over there. All I know is there are no trainers in this part. Okay, wait a second. Yeah, I want to take the upper one. Um... Yeah, the, like, they, they actually have, like, the Silphco music or the Rocket Hideout music, which is, like, really good. Like, this music is really intimidating as well. It's Rocket's Hideout music. Oh, yeah, this is where we fight this guy. Um, like, especially when it gets all crazy. And, like, there's that part where it goes, like, all silent and it's just, like, dun 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 and it's like really like really creepy like they did a really good job with that with like the rocket hideout music just making it sound like all creepy and intimidating and as i say they have that music then in the in the pokemon origins cartoon just gonna use thunderbolt on this rat go downtown and have a rat and all that thing off your face so well now that i'm thinking about it with fly the one point where I might actually start missing Fly is is with Cinnabar Island. Because there's actually no... Is there a proper way to get from, um... Like, because the thing is, you can't get through to... Can you get... You can't go through Mount Moon backwards, do you know what I mean? Like, you can't go through Mount Moon backwards to get back to Pewter City, and then to Viridian City, and then to Pallet Town. So that's your one option for getting back to Cinnabar City. The other option for getting to Cinnabar or Cinnabar Island, sorry. The other option for getting to Cinnabar Island is to like go from Fuchsia City and go through like the the Sea Foam Islands or whatever. And it's like no one has time for that. So I don't know. That's like the one. That's that's like the one thing that's kind of making me lean towards. Oh well, maybe I'll just go and catch some crummy Pidgey. And teach it fly. Or maybe I will catch something cooler and teach it fly. I don't know. I'll see. I'm still making my mind up. As I say, it's not like high, it's not like high on my priority list. Priority list with this, like, that's the other reason why I'm not like play, giving it video titles. It's not that like I'm being all like dismissive and being like, oh, that's just that novelty LP. That doesn't need like effort put into giving the videos titles or whatever. It's just that like I don't think like I don't think the game storyline and things like that are really the main focus of, of the game or catching lots of Pokemon is really the main focus of this LP, you know, because all I'm doing is, is going, the, 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 the main focus is like the interest factor or the, in, the novelty factor of going through it with just Pikachu and the different like challenges which, which that like causes to arise. So all I got there was a crummy hyper potion. And I can't even use the lift, you can't use the elevator, because that's what you get, is the elevator key. See, it appears to need a key. Bingo! The card key opened the door. Talk about memories. Um, that, that going through Silphco, my god, all I can remember about going through Silphco is that it was absolutely freezing cold when I was doing the Silphco. Okay, no, that's not where I want to go. It was absolutely freezing cold when I was going through Silphco. In like the when I LP'd this game first. Okay, which way do I want to go? This way, I suppose. See, this is the part where I said that you think like the music is all like stopped or whatever, but it's not. It's just being extra creepy. Are there like items down here? Oh, there's a trainer down there. <laughs> 
Oh, well, this is like, this is an easy way to get there. Well, this is the thing, like, Game Corner isn't that really difficult at all. It's not even that long. Like, the thing that makes Sylph Co go on for so long is that there are so many trainers there and so many, like, extra ways to go that you don't actually have to go, you know? That's the thing with, um, with Sylph Co, why it seems to take ages. And I don't know, I, I don't know what was wrong with me that day, but I know, like, in the original LP, the Sylph Co took me, like, five videos or something ridiculous like that that it shouldn't have taken me. Um... Like, it just took, like, way longer than it should have. I don't know whether I got lost, or whether it was just because, like, I was, I was, like, d didn't know what I was doing, or what it was. But it just took me ages, I remember that much. And I remember that it was absolutely freezing, it was in winter time. Um, what are you going to disable, Thunder? <laughs> I don't care. Um, it was in, it was absolutely freezing, and I was sitting there recording the Silvco, not knowing where I was going, not knowing what I was doing. Like, just like, freezing to death. And there I was, like, and I got the card key and I was opening the doors and all I could think of to say was, Bingo, the card key opened the door. Like, all lifelessly. Oh, this was actually the way I was supposed to go. Oh, well, might as well get this now and get it out of the way. Rare candy. So when Pikachu, um... Oh, great. When Pikachu, like, you levels up the next time, I'm gonna go ahead and use that, I suppose. Um, so yeah, we'll see how like efficiently or badly or pro well I do the Silvco this time. Because that's actually not that hard, all you have to do- I don't know, I'm pretty sure. Like what used to confuse me about the Silvco before was- No, that's not what I wanted to do! I misread the signals. Like what- I remember what used to confuse me about the Silvco before was that there's this part where you have to like, go into the teleporter. Like, like, because you have to get, like, behind that rocket. You have to get behind that rocket, that one rocket that's, like, guarding the, the key or whatever. And once you, that's guarding the teleporter that you need to go to or that's guarding the key that you need to get to. And, like, the, the thing is you have to, like, but, like, you can't get to him without going over a teleporter. So you have to, like, teleport and then teleport back so that you're on the teleporter without teleporting, if you know what I mean. And that's the part that used to always confuse me in the Silphco when I was younger. I'm not sure whether that's what confused me about it that time as well, but... Well, here's the guy that drops the elevator key, isn't it? The elevator doesn't work. Who has the lift key? Well, you do. I know that much. Um, there he is, Richard O'Brien. Speaking of um, Rocky Horror Picture Show, I was actually watching bits of, like, they're showing on the movie channels, like, the, the filming of the... Rocky Horror Picture Show with Laverne Cox in it or whatever. I don't know. It, it's okay. Joe, you know what I didn't like about it was that it almost seemed like it was being a copy of the original rather than being its own thing, if you know what I mean. Like, with Laverne Cox's performance, it's actually really, really good. Like, she's really, really good at, do, at doing um, at doing Franken for sure. But, like, all the little affectations and mannerisms and whatever are just so Tim Curry. Like, it's almost like, it's almost like she's just, like, copying, like, watched, like, a, like the, the original film or the original musical, like, a million times and just, like, copied all the stuff from them, you know? And, like, that's the way it felt and that's what I didn't like about it. Rather than them, like, making it its own thing. Because that's, that's never really successful when you do, try to do things like that, when you just try to... When you just try to copy or imitate the, the originals, um, the way the original was made or whatever. Well, look, now I just did this place backwards. I needn't have bothered doing that whole part on the upper floor at all until I got the lift key. But now that I have the lift key, so what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually just going to dig out of here. Well, no, no, wait a second, don't do that. Did I go to the Pokemon Center in Celadon City? I hope I did. If I didn't, then this is going to bring me all the way back to Lavender Town. <laughs> My god. There we go. Thanks, that's okay. <laughs> I'll see you, I'll meet you guys back inside. Hey everybody. <laughs> hey everybody, this isn't the start of a new body. Like, hey Princess Bubblegum, hey everybody. 
Oh no, that door is like closed. That's the door you come out of like right at the end. Well, here I am. I'm back. I just got reminded of um, like when I was doing like when I was like got all got, got all like scared that I was going to get teleported to um. Like, just there when I got scared that I was going to get teleported back to Lavender Town instead of getting teleported to Celadon City with the dig. Um, like, I got reminded of, do you know that, like, Pokemon Red um, speedrun that I was talking about that I'd been watching or whatever? And it's a really interesting video. Like, if you haven't, like, found it, it's, it's really, really interesting. There are some really, like, just in case you don't remember what I'm talking about, there are some really interesting little ways of exploiting, like, legitimately exploiting the mechanics that are in the game. Um... One of the things that that the guy did instead of instead of like using fly a lot or before getting fly or whatever or in order to like make the game like traveling around the game world faster is that he'd use like dig so he'd get up to a certain point in a dungeon and he'd like dig to get like to, and he'd end up teleporting like from the safari zone in Fuchsia City let's say or something like that I'm not really sure if that's exactly what happened but teleporting from somewhere like really crazy far away to the Pokemon Center in Celadon City just by using dig which I thought was ridiculous you know what we're gonna do we're gonna use that HP up on Pikachu right now because like he's a full health by how much can I see please by one HP. Oh well, that might be the one. No, I don't want to go there. I've been there already. That just brings. Well, no. That that this will just bring me out to that one trainer, won't it? I might as well fight him now. Um. No, I'm not lost. I know where I'm going. Don't you call me a rat either. While well, you're at it, Richard O'Brien guy. You're the one with the grimer, the smelly grimer. Um. But what was I even saying? I was saying something and I'm after getting confused now. About like going up in the elevator. About like... Teleporting somewhere. About going somewhere. About the safari zone. About strength. Gee, this happens to me all the time. This has been happening to me since like the first time I ever LP'd ever. Me losing my train of thought and not knowing what I'm talking about anymore. Oh yeah, no, I was saying like how he got, like, his HP went up by one. Well, one HP, one HP is all we need as demonstrated in the lieutenant, sir. No, I just, I just used the elevator to go to the same floor. That doesn't make any sense. What would happen there? Does it just like go up and down? <laughs> this video is going to go over time as it is. Okay, here we go. Right, where are the jerks? Not another step, brat. It's Cassidy and Buffy. The name is Butch. How dare you humiliate us at Mount Moon? It's payback time, you brat. That's the thing with like Team Rocket as well. They were like a little bit more like they were kind of more jerks. They were less goofy in the original as well. Like they actually were assholes. Coughing, the happiest Pokemon in the world. Coughing's another one of those Pokemon where like his sprite in the original game, like in in Red and Blue. Is kind of crummy <laughs> because it's like it, it's it's like the, the 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 symbol like the skull and crossbones symbol is all wrong on it like it's the wrong way up or it's like on the wrong part of his body or whatever. I might as well use Thunderbolt now because there are going to be plenty of Pokemon Giovanni has that I'm not going to be able to use Thunderbolt on. We were to level forty three. I might use that rare candy after this battle, depending on how much um, experience I get from this Ekans here. Just because, like, pff. the thing is, like, with rare candy, obviously you want, to, you want, uh, you want uh, all, uh, all it does. Like, you might as well use it, like, just when you're after. Like, actually, more se it'd be more sensible to um. Yeah, you're blasting off again. Whatever. Bling. Wow, fat. Um. It's actually more sensible to like save it until late in the game because technically you get more. Technically, the more um, like the more experience it takes you to get to the next level, the more benefit you get out of a rare candy. Because a rare candy will bring you like if you're level four, it'll bring you up to level five, no matter how. Even if you only have to get like one experience. The same rare candy, it'll bring you from level 99 up to level 100, no matter how much experience you have to get. There's the man himself, Dracula. 
So I must say I'm impressed you got here. Here he is stroking his Persian. I, st I still like have to. I still have to laugh when I think of like all those um. When I think of all those um. Um, all those little like little Team Rocket funny like little cartoons or whatever. All those. What? How did it? Oh, I guess that's another one of these little misses that happens just for fun in Generation 1. It missed again? Thank you, jeez. I was wondering what was going on two times, like two times, twice in a row. Um, but look, it's not like he's doing anything anyway. But look, see Seismic Toss? Doing 43 damage against this Onyx is just saving my ass here. Body Slam is going to come in handy though, because I'm pretty sure Body Slam will do more damage against... Like, if he has Kanga... I can't remember if he has Kangaskhan, or whether he has, like, one of the Nidorinos, or Nido Queens or whatever, in this battle. Because I always get mixed up between what he has here and what he has in the Sylphgo. I know in Sylphgo he'll have Kangaskhan with him, won't he? I think. Um, or else I'm thinking of... Or else I'm getting mixed up with Pokemon Blue. Um... Which I'm pretty sure Body Slam will be more useful for that. No, Persian. Oh wow, no, I completely forgot about this, so... And here I was I saying even, like, he was stroking his Persian, because that's what he had in the... That's what he had in the in the anime. Well, there we go, I defeated Giovanni without breaking a sweat. This cannot be! Yes, it can. With his hair. His hair looks like Jason Alexander's hair in Shallow Hell. Yeah, I raised him with the utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. And here we go. We get the Sylph Scope. We got an apple pie. We got an ice cream. We got a family with type 2 adult onset diabetes. What am I doing here? I'm using, <laughs> using Dig to get back outside. Okay, well, here we go. Um... I guess that's it for this part of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow, the Pikachu solo run. Um, that's I, I kind of wasn't expecting that to be over all of a sudden like that and for me to be outside here in the sunshine. I'm, I'm going to make, in between videos, I'll decide whether I'm just going to go straight to... No, do you know what? While I'm here in, in Celadon City, I suppose what I'll do is I'll like stick with... Um, I'll stick with, like, I'll, I'll probably go up against Erika in the next video, because then I can just go straight from Lavender Town to Fuchsia City. So, yeah, in the next part, we'll head back to, we'll, we'll take on the Celadon Gym. Thanks a million for watching. See you next time. Bye now.